CDAC 2022. Today we have James from uh, Metal Energy. Hello. Can you say hi to our audience? Hello, everybody. Yeah, please give us an overview of your company, Metal Energy. Metal Energy is a nickel exploration company in the Thompson Nickel Belt, Manitoba. We've got our, our flagship project, which is Manabridge, to pass producing mine. And we're looking at exploring and developing the envelope of mineralization that, that remains on trend with it. So it's a, it's a great company with a very low market cap, a lot of upside potential. Thank you. So speaking of Manabridge mine project, located, where is it located and what are the advantages of working in the region? Yeah, so Manabridge is in the Thompson Nickel Belt, which is Manitoba. Manitoba itself is a very safe political jurisdiction. It's consistently ranked very high in the Fraser Institute ratings as being one of the one of the, the best places for investment dollars to go. So, so we've got that going for us. But again, we're, we're within the Thompson Nickel Belt. We're about 100 kilometers south of Thompson, Manitoba, which is the largest producer within the area. They've got smelting capacity. The, our project itself is basically right along the highway. We've got rail rail line right there as well. We've got cell tower on the commun on the on the project. So we've got a lot of infrastructure that's already in place. It's just a matter of being able to define how many pounds are in the area, and then we think that with everything already being in there, it's uh, it's a pretty easy project to move forward. That's good. So your company received a hundred thousand meter drill permit from three years on the Manor Bridge project. What would you prospective exploration targets over the next three years? Yeah, that's a great question. So we want to develop Manor Bridge, which is our Manor Bridge target, I guess, is the proper way to say it, but that's where the old mine workings are. So we really want to develop the, the envelope of mineralization around there. And that's going to take at least a couple of years. But while we're doing that, we also have a lot of greenfield exploration targets that we want to drill as well. So the 100,000 meter, the 100,000 meter drill permits that we have, which are good for three years, will allow us to potentially develop a resource on Manor Bridge yeah. and also look for more discoveries to be made with our greenfield exploration. Yeah, okay. So what, how do you think the long-term prospect of nickel price? It has to keep going up. Nickel's here to stay, especially with its new adoption into metals or in, in, into battery metals, sorry. That's, and just the way that battery metals are being used nowadays, especially in electric vehicles and um, battery, battery power sources to complement renewable energies, the, the battery market or applications have been increasing. So with that, we do see that the nickel contained within batteries is going up and, and demand is, is definitely being driven higher. So we're going to run into, we are potentially going to run into a supply demand imbalance situation with nickel. And that's why we think that nickel is a good long-term bet. Yes. So would you mind sharing with us uh, who are your major shareholders and uh, how much capital they ha you have raised so far? Major shareholders are, are held internally. So we've, I'd, I'd say our largest shareholder is our chairman of the company. So we're very tightly held, which is always a good situation to be in, especially being being a new company. Uh, we've got about five and a half million in the bank right now. Our market cap is just below 10 million, but with, with the funds that we have available to us, we will be able to complete our 10,000 meter drill program that we just launched on Manabridge last week. And so once we get results coming out from that, hopefully we will have an uptick in the market and be able to raise um, some better funds down the road. That's good. So last question, would you say your company is undervalued? Completely. Absolutely, I'd say we're undervalued. I, I can't throw out any numbers, but based on, based on the historic mineralization that we've seen and internal calculations that we've done, we can compare ourselves to companies with 250 million to 500 million market caps. Like I said, we're, lo we're a company with a less than a 10 million market cap. So I see nothing but upside potential. Could be 10 times to 50 times investment potential with metal energy. That's why we're very excited and ascend and really trying to promote the story because it's in our minds, it is, it's a victory that's already been made. We just have to prove it. Yes, it is. Okay, so thanks for your time, James. It's very nice talking to you. Thank you.